Remy, your mom's picking you up after school, okay? Roger that, sir. Please call me dad. Roger that, sir, dad. Frankie, are you coming home before your volleyball game? Frankie, hello. The nice people who created us are asking you a question. What? Oh, no, Mom. Dio and I are going to hang out before the game. Oh. You and Dio have become quite the thing lately. Mom, quit stalking my social. Oh, you like my new pig. <laughs> Frankie, if you don't watch where you're going, you can go. Get... Hurt. Man, it's tough being right all the time. Who are you texting anyway? Remy, not everything's a mystery for your little mystery solving club to solve, okay? Wake up. This town has so much strange going on. And we're not a little club. We're sweaty. <laughs> Snickering Willow's eerie and or alien tween investigators. Wow, rolls right off the tongue. It was between that and the preteen's official outsiders paranormal society. The poops? <laughs> Can't believe I'm saying this, but sweaty is better. It's the lesser of two stinkies. <laughs> we should have left two minutes ago. Go, go, go! Bye. Have a great day. Someone want to give us a ride? On it. <laughs> Layla, please tell me you're over it. Nope, not over it. I'm still mad. What are you guys fighting about? We're not fighting, we're misunderstanding. -ing. <laughs> hey, excuse you, Ehrlich. Dude walks around here like he owns the place. He's a snickering. His great granddad founded the town and built the school and the factory. And I think his cousin owns a boba shop. Good morning, students. Just a reminder to support the volleyball team tonight as our snickering spiders take on the dreaded Tucker Tasmanian Devils. As usual, we'll be led by our fearless captain, Frankie Rip. Still want to hang after school? Of course. Meet you for Bubba. Oh, yeah. You boogie on down to your own class, okay? Layla, I'm over you being not over it. I'm really sorry, okay? Winky face, winky face, smiley face. And set! What just happened? Where am I? And why don't I have any bars? <laughs> Welcome to the underworld. The under who now? What is this place? Why am I here? Because you died. Die? I was about to drink boba. I don't know what that is. I do know that you died, and you're in the underworld now. My name is Pretty, and as soon as I take care of this nice man, I'll be glad to help you. This key will unlock your eternal resting place. Please take it over to my colleague, Scary, who will assist you. Now, have yourself an over-the-top underworld day. <laughs> name, please? Why do you need my name? I'm not checking in. Name, please? Oh, fine. Frankie Rip. Okay, Frankie Rip. I will find your reservation in a jiffy. Hello, I'm Scary. Please insert your key. Ah! Have an over the top underworld day. <laughs> There's been a ginormous mistake. We don't make mistakes in the underworld. But it is odd that I can't find your reservation. Which probably means I'm not supposed to be here, right? 
Right? <laughs> Look, pretty, I want answers. Who's in charge here? I need to speak to my manager right now. I am the Grim Reaper. Hello, what's the problem, sweetie? Wait, you're the Grim Reaper? And you're a woman? Proud to be both. Way to crush that glass ceiling, girl. <laughs> Look, GR, can I call you GR? You made a mistake. Yeah, no, we don't really make those. Look, I shouldn't be here. My life's just starting. There's deal, we're kind of a thing. We're supposed to be having boba right now. I have this huge volleyball game tonight. People just allow oh, me. Oh, and there's Layla. She's my forever bestie. I mean, sure, she's all upset. Francis Eleanor Rip! Whoa, you middle named me. I'm listening. Frankie, as I was trying to tell you, there has indeed been a sort of a mistake. Let's agree to call it a mishap. <laughs> Bottom line is, you aren't actually supposed to be here. I know it. <laughs> well, GR, I'm all about the forgiving and forgetting, so just send me home and we can forget you ever mishapped. <laughs> mm, not that simple, my love. I can't send you back from the underworld without someone to guide you. I'll go with her. Oh, well, this is awkward. <laughs> uh, no, no, I was thinking scary. You'd go. Yeah, I'm not really a people person. I am! Me! Over here! I'll go! You know what? It's settled. Two's better than one. You'll both go. Now, I need you to watch over Frankie and help her readjust. I'll check in from time to time. And while you're there, the three of you can uh, help me tie up some loose ends. Are you talking about your other mistake? Did you... Mishap. <laughs> Frankie, darling, are you ready to go home? Um... Unless you want to stay. Yes, home, please. <laughs> Wonderful. Just need you to sign a little contract. Dog! <laughs> so, just put your signature right there. Oh, initial here. Thank you. One more signature here, and a rainbow. <laughs> I like rainbows. <laughs> What's this about side effects? Oh, it's just standard contract lingo. Anywho, I'll have a copy sent to your home. <laughs> Off you go. Toodles. Ta-ta. Don't let the flash of light hit you on the way out. <laughs> See you soon. Wait, what? There he is, Remy, my man. Let's have some fun today. Yeah, we could hit the batting cages, toss the old pigskin around. And then finish the day off with a little father-son Manny Petty. <laughs> Actually, I was just gonna hang out with Carson today. Is that okay? Of course it is, buddy. That's just fine. We miss her too, sweetheart. It's just not the same without our Frankie. I'm back! <laughs> Mom, Dad, you all right? Frankie! Is it really you? It's me, Mom. It's, it's Frankie. I'm back. <gasps> Sweetheart, but you died. How is it possible you're here? And what happened to your hair? Wait, my hair? Oh, OK. I see your side effect. <laughs> Frankie, we have so many questions. Like, first off, where did you go after you? Well, you know, after you died, Mom, you can say it. Did you see any bright lights? Did your soul leave your body? Did they have pancakes? Well, there are some neon lights. Then I just plopped into this place called the Underworld. The Under who now? That's what I said. Then how'd you get out of this Underworld? Well, you know, just had to play some hardball with the Grim Reaper herself. <laughs> no big. The Grim Reaper is a woman? You go, girl! That's what I said, too! <laughs> anyway, GR goofed up with my whole dying thing, so to make it right, she sent me home. For good? Like, you get to stay? I'm here to stay, Dad. Also, <laughs> come on in, guys. <laughs> They're here to stay, too. It's kind of part of the deal. Hello, strange people in my house I haven't met before. <laughs> I'm pretty. OK. Not very humble, though. No, Dad, pretty's his name. And this is scary. 
the... Okay. We're so glad to have you back, Frankie. The last two weeks have been awful. Two weeks? It was like two minutes. Time moves faster here. It does? Oh, I've got a million more questions about this underworld. Is it like a waiting room? I I do you guys work there? Also, we never close a circle on that pancake thing. Sorry, he came with the house. <laughs> Frankie, I'm just so glad to have you home. Here come the waterworks. <laughs> Come on, Scary, get in on this. Hard pass. Good morning, Frankie. Good morning. Oh, that's a new look for you. Yeah, I wanted to try something different. What do you think? I like it, especially my shoes. <laughs> I'm so excited to go to school with you today. Oh, I don't know if you can go with me. We probably need to enroll you first. Already done. I called your principal and told her she can expect two new foreign exchange students today. Way to think on your feet, Mom. Yay! We get to go to school, Scary! Yes, I am full of yay. <laughs> oh, nothing on social about me coming back. Do you think people know? I'm gonna say yeah. Local girl returns from the dead. And that's the photo they used? <laughs> Dyers can't be choosers. Also, we should have left two minutes ago. Go, 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 go! Bye. Have a great day. Someone want to give us a ride? Own it. Not to brag, but people are going to be really excited to see me, especially Dio. Ready? Let's do this. <laughs> wow! They really are excited to see you. Whoa! It's true. Frankie, you're back. This is incredible. Yeah, incredible. Wait, are you two a thing now? Well, when you fell into that manhole, I was super bummed. <laughs> and you weren't there to comfort me. And Layla was? Frankie, I'm sorry, but you died. <laughs> they make a cute couple. Read the room, Freddy. <laughs> oh, sorry. Welcome back, Frankie. Yeah, thanks, Ehrlich. Good morning, students. Just reminding you that we have a big volleyball game tonight, so come out and support our Spiders, led by our captain, Layla Mueller. Seriously? What is happening today? Aren't you, like, dead? <laughs> well, once dead. <laughs> Sweet. I'm Nyx. Frankie. It's weird. We've been in a couple classes together, and this is the first time we're talking. <laughs> it's not weird. I only talk to people that interest me. So I didn't interest you before? No, but congrats. Now you do. I'd also like you to join me in welcoming back to school and life, Frankie Rip. Let's hear it for Frankie. <laughs> OK, settle, settle down. Settle down, every. <laughs> OK, now, as you can see, we've got our Frankie back. And while that's Odd. <laughs> we all know stranger things have happened here in Snickering Willows. Like, for instance, this total snack is still single. Whoa. I'm just realizing I had a funeral. The whole school was there. Oh, that's really sweet. It was mandatory. <laughs> Thanks for getting me out of PE. <laughs> oh, and we also have two new foreign exchange students joining us. A uh, pretty and Gary. Okay. <laughs> so everyone, let's give a warm Willows welcome to Pretty, Frankie, and Scary. More like Pretty Freaking Scary. <laughs> <laughs> Ignore them. They get a new hair streak. Really? Thanks, because I tried washing it out like a thousand times, but it won't go away. It makes you look wise. And old. <laughs> Where exactly are you two from? We're both from the under. Down under. <laughs> They're from the down under. Australia. 
you know, koalas, kangaroos, Chris Hemsworth. <laughs> You have a restaurant in the middle of your school? It's the cafeteria. Grab a tray. Look, I'm just gonna put it out there. This whole Dio and I thing, it wasn't planned, okay? I mean, maybe I was still mad at you about our fight. Misunderstanding. Fine. All I'm saying is you can't just die and expect that to fix everything. Um, can we talk about this later? Like at volleyball practice? No, we can't. Coach replaced you because you die. <laughs> this day is great. <laughs> Look, it's pretty freaking scary. <laughs> um, what is happening? This pudding's what's happening. Seriously, what's happening right now? The giant just a wet in the middle of the cafeteria. <whistles> she died. She's back. She spilled food on herself. Get over it! You guys, I felt something. It felt like this energy was running through me. I can't explain it. That explains it. Someone left the door open again. Here you go. Got a little something. Well, everywhere. You can safely say worse things have happened. Thanks, Relic. You're gonna need a bigger napkin. But you smell delicious. Is Frankie back yet? Not only is Frankie back, son, she is here to stay. Yep, she's not going anywhere. Okay, but I meant back from school. She's so happy we're whole again. Oh. I'll get the door. But she gotta let go of me. <laughs> Honey, do you know where I put my glasses? Have you checked your face? <laughs> G-R. G-R. The Grim Reaper. And that's why you're the king of the sweaties. Who was at the door? No one! I, I mean, just a package of Frankie. I'll go put it in her room. What contract is this? Why would Frankie sign it? And who am I talking to? Ah, how was your first day of school? Great. Not great. How about you, Frankie? How was it seeing your friends again? Well, complicated. <laughs> Confusing. Nothing a cookie can't fix. That's Parenting 101. Oh, you got a package earlier. Remy took it up to your room. A package? A package! This feels like a good chance for us to spend some quality time together. Get to know each other. I'll make tea. It's not what it looks like. Or maybe it is. What does it look like to you? It looks like you opened my package. Yeah, okay, then it is what it looks like. But Frankie, there's something I really need to tell you. Remy, what's with the sheet? What sheet? <laughs> okay, and Pinky's out. And now let's drink. I hope you like the tea. I like everything. <laughs> Except tea. <laughs> oh, and all over my Nana's quilt. <laughs> I'm sure it'll come out. So, what is it that you both do in the underworld? I'm a greeter. That's how I met Frankie when she died. <laughs> oh, lucky. <laughs> I hit the quilt, too. <laughs> and what do you do, Scary? I'm an exit usher. I sit and read in front of an elevator where people find out their fate. You know. Fun! 
Whoa, there's a whole lot going on here. Care to explain? Welcome to Sweaty Headquarters. Otherwise known as my bedroom, <laughs> which didn't include this. Frankie, being here made me feel close to you. Oh. Also, Sweaty needed space to expand our operations. <laughs> We've been slammed with cases. Mrs. Maple's missing tortoise, the three-eyed fish, sinkhole at the park, it took the good slide. <laughs> Don't you see? It's all connected. Yeah, by your yarn. <laughs> and why are you investigating the meat replacement factory? Dad's worked at Snickering's Finest his whole life. There's no mystery there. No one knows what the meat replacement is. That's not mysterious to you. Huh. I guess it just blends in with the rest of the weird in Snickering Willows. Yep, and it gets weirder every day. You know, like two strangers from the underworld suddenly living with us? Frankie. Do you trust Pretty and Scary? Do I have a choice? But I promise I'll keep an eye out, okay? Good, because you didn't keep an eye out when you fell in a manhole. <laughs> or when you signed this. So, Pretty, were you okay sleeping in Remy's top bunk last night? It was great. I only fell out twice. <laughs> and Scary, was the air mattress in Frankie's room comfortable enough? It's more comfortable than my bed of nails in the underworld. That was a joke. Fun! You have to admit, it's strange the Grim Reaper let you come back. That's why I had to see for myself what was in that contract. You could have just asked me what was in there instead of taking it. Why? I knew you didn't read it. How dare you? But yeah, I didn't read it. <laughs> I think GR wanted me to. She was rushing me. Yeah, because she hid stuff in there she didn't want you to see. Always read before you sign, Frankie. You're gonna make a great nagging parent one day. Wait, have Pretty and Scary been stuck talking to our parents this whole time? Okay, Scary, I'm sorry, but I have to ask. Can you tell me which people from Snickering Willows got the uh, down arrow? Jonathan! Scary, you do not have to answer that. Unless you want to. Pretty and Scary, can you come upstairs? Well, sweetheart, we were actually just in the middle of coming. Gooses. <laughs> Guys, we need to talk about the Grim Reaper's contract. I read all of it, and I found something big. Spit it out already. Frankie, the contract says that you have to finish a series of tasks for the Grim Reaper. Wait, that's it? Tasks? Oh, Remy, you had me all worried. Tasks are easy. JR probably just needs... Tickets to Dual Leaper or something. Who? <laughs> Point is, we can handle any tasks Jer might have. I'm not worried. Frankie, there's more. It also says that if you can't finish all of the Grim Reaper's tasks, you have to return to the underworld forever. Okay, worried now. Try again, pretty. Uh, is that gonna summon the Grim Reaper? No, but you seem super excited, so I made it look like I was trying harder. You can't summon the Grim Reaper, Frankie. I told you, she just appears. Hello! Hello, my three favorite peeps. Did you miss me? No, 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 GR. You can't just pop in all Snow White style and pretend everything's okay. You hid stuff from me. What's up with these tasks? Tasks. Oh, those. Yes, those were clearly stated in your contract. You know, you should always read something before you sign it, my dear. Just tell me what I have to do to stay here, because I'm staying. Oh, we'll get there, sweetie. All in due time. OK, got to run. Toodles. See you real soon. I'm just here to grab my stuff and go. Remy, the cork board can stay. We're going to need all the sweaty help we can get. Yep, I heard it when I said it. 